Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This has been a Sigma from GSM Germany. Today I want to show you how to unlock an iPhone currently running on iOS 16.7.4 using the GSMG tool software. This method is also compatible with some iPad models running iOS 17, both for activation lock and passcode mode. So if you have a locked iPhone, stick with me until the end of this video. Before we dive into the steps, I want to remind you that the GSMG tool software is available for free download from the official website at gsmgermany.com. This is the most reliable source to ensure that you're getting the latest version of the software with all the necessary updates and features. I strongly recommend downloading it directly from there to avoid any issues with outdated or tampered versions. The site is user-friendly, and you can find the download link easily on the homepage. Additionally, the website offers a comprehensive guide and troubleshooting section in case you run into any difficulties during the installation or unlocking process. So make sure to visit gsmgermany.com to get your copy of the software and follow along with this tutorial. The interface is similar to the previous version, but this one comes with more advanced features. Once the software launches, put your device into recovery mode first before entering DFU mode. Follow the on-screen instructions, hold the volume up, volume down and power buttons. Keep holding the power button until the device is connected in recovery mode. As you can see in the video, the device is now in recovery mode. The tool will automatically detect the device. If you encounter any errors, open the driver link provided in the description. Once done, click on Enter DFU to use the DFU helper. If the device information doesn't display on the tool, click on Refresh Tool. Then click on Enter DFU and follow the instructions to put the device into DFU mode. If it fails to enter DFU, repeat the instructions. Once the device is in DFU mode, open your device manager to ensure it's connected under the universal server box and that the driver is installed. After verifying that, select your iOS version and click on Boot PW and DFU. Once successful, click on Boot RAM Disk. This may take some time, depending on your internet speed. If you encounter any issues launching the software or during the boot process, download the drivers from the link in the description. It's a free tool, so go ahead and install the drivers. Once the booting process is complete, you will see the mode is RAM disk mode next. Click on Open SSH, which will open a secure shell connection between the software and the device. When the SSH port is open, click on Backup Passcode. You'll be prompted to upload the file to the server once done, the backup will be successful, and the directory where the file is saved will automatically open. Close the tab and proceed by clicking on Factory Reset. Note that this tool requires registration. You'll need to copy the EC number displayed in the tool and use the registration link in the description below. It's free software. After erasing the device, wait for it to boot up, then click on Enter DFU again. After the device is erased, Put it into recovery mode first before DFU to prevent any issues during the booting process. Repeat the same steps to enter DFU mode manually if needed. Check your device management to ensure the driver is functioning properly before proceeding.
Once the driver is OK, click on Boot PW and again as we did earlier. The link to download the software is available in the description below, so go ahead and download the tool. This is the latest version of the 007 GSM tool Ramdic software, which has quite a few impressive premium features. We'll be uploading more awesome videos in the coming days regarding the latest GSMG removal tool that supports the A12 Bionic chipset, covering models from the iPhone XR to the 15 series. A video on how to bypass them will be posted soon. Once the PWN process is successful, click on Boot RAM Disk again. If you encounter any issues, ensure your driver is active. After the booting process is complete, click on Open SSH again as we did earlier. When the SSH port is open, Click on Restore Backup, choose the directory from where you want to restore the backup, usually the computer. If it doesn't go through, select another option and click Yes. Now, the device is successfully bypassed with all services working. Wait for the device to boot up and it will skip the Setup app, taking you directly to the home screen. You can now insert your SIM card, and everything should be working fine. Let me demonstrate by dialing a number. As you can see, the call is going through. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.